Hey YouTube, here's the second part of this video. In the first part, I showed um, what the independent and dependent variables were, and if you didn't watch that part, um, we said y is the dependent variable, and since there's no t over here or x over here, we can just pick what the what we're gonna call the independent variable. And I, I decided that these y's, let's do it over time, and so we'll have the independent variable bt. Um, the way that you get this typed in um, and have Mathematica solve it for you. Oh, and one other thing is later in this video I'm going to show you how to, um, if you're given initial values like this, um, how to solve this differential equation and, and specify that y0 is 0, y prime is 2, or anything like that. So let's get started. Mathematic is open, it's a new notebook. Um, we're going to use dsolve. Uh, just a couple things to know with Mathematica. Capitals, it, that makes a big difference. If it's not capitalized, it's uh, it just won't work. So we type in D solve and d and s are both capitalized and when you when you just do capital ds it comes up pick the first one all right now we use the square bracket and the syntax or whatever is going to be whatever you were given in the problem like this y double prime you're gonna type that in the 2y prime and the 2y but after every y you need to to specify the independent variable so like this y double prime would be y double prime of t 2y prime of t etc 2y of t and the T goes in square brackets, so it looks like this. Y double prime square bracket of T close square bracket plus two square bracket no two Y of T. Oh, and I forgot. Gotta get that prime because it's two. This right here. Once I put this apostrophe, that's two y prime with respect to d plus two y of t. And now this is a key thing. Whenever I want to set something equal to zero. I gotta do double equal, so I just hit the equals button twice, now hit space, and then type zero. If you don't do that, it gives you troubles, I don't know why. Alright, so now I got my differential equation typed in, and then I hit a comma after it. Now, I need to say, what is the the dependent variable so in this case it was y so y bracket t and then comma now I want to say what the independent variable was which is t and now close square brackets now this is another key thing when you want it to solve something for you, you have to hit the shift key and hold it down and then hit enter. If you don't, it doesn't do anything. So I got shift down and then I hit enter. Alright, so this differential equation, it just solved it for me. And that's just the general solution. Now, we were given some initial conditions or, you know, I think a lot of the professors call it an initial value problem. Um, 
so now let's say we want to do the same thing, but we're given this those two conditions. Um, the way that we're going to go about doing this is I'm going to just go to what I input before and I'm going to copy it and paste it and now I'm going to just change it a little bit and the two conditions that we were given were the following y0 is 0 okay so this right there it was the original differential equation so around it you're going to put squiggly brackets all right now at the end of the original differential equation which was this uh, y double prime plus 2y prime plus 2y equals 0 at the end of that now you're going to hit comma and then type your first condition. So y of 0 is now it's double equal followed by the space that's critical and then 0. Now the next one for this and then comma. Now for the y prime of 0 equals 2 after the comma, you just do y prime of 0. Now, again, double equal, followed by the space, is equal to 2. Alright, and that's now this line, this line, and the initial differential equation all should be inside the squiggly brackets. Otherwise, it's just the exact same thing. Now I'm going to hit shift and enter to have it solve it. And there you go. Just solved it with uh, those two initial conditions. Thanks. Hope this helps.